Hello, everyone. My name is Yun Liu. I'm interested in modeling the degradation of heritage materials and developing tools to support decision making in preventive conservation. Today, I would like to introduce my decision support application, DISCO. DISCO is an open source research application for modeling the discoloration of paper based collections to support preventive conservation and collection management in cultural institutions. The idea of this development formed during my PhD, and I started working on it since 2019. And this application is still under development. It's currently focusing on three types of heritage materials, historical paper, angle ink, and color photographs. In today's introduction, I would like to give you an overview of the interface and the functions of the application. I'll also go through a few things that would be helpful to understand how the application works behind the scenes. This is the interface of my application. We can see that there are two main functions. One is lifetime prediction and the other is uncertainty analysis. The lifetime prediction analyzes collections discoloration over time under the impact of several factors. In this table, I have listed the factors that could be analyzed for each type of, each type of the materials. And these factors have been observed to have significant effect on the discoloration of the materials in scientific experiments. For paper, the significant factors are oxygen concentration, relative humidity, and illumination. For angle ink, the factors are oxygen concentration and the relative humidity. For color photographs, the factors are relative humidity, acetic acid, and temperature. For paper and angle ink, the discoloration is defined in the LAB color space, whereas for color photographs, the discoloration is defined in the RGB color space. These are the models that are used to do the lifetime predictions. As we can see, these models share three characteristics, which are deterministic, numerical, and monotonic. This means that if we define the inputs as single value points, the output we get will also be single data points. The lifetime prediction is performed via this interface shown on the screen. The input can be defined on the left and the output is presented on the right. The output is presented by a 2D contour plot where each contour line represents the same amount of discoloration. Based on this plot, we can interactively explore how the combinations of the factors affect the discoloration of the type of material we're interested in. You might have noticed that the inputs for this analysis can only be defined as a single value, as I've already mentioned before. But we all know that in reality, the values of the factors are usually not certain. For example, as we all know, it's almost impossible to fix the RH value at a single point, especially over a long time period. And it is expensive to control it in a very tight range. Therefore, RH always fluctuates in the range and this uncertain RH will lead to an uncertain discoloration outcome, which means the discoloration will also fluctuate in the range instead of being a fixed value. Let me give you an example. Imagine there are three factors, such as temperature, RH, and illumination. Each factor fluctuates. These factors will lead to discoloration that also fluctuates. If we want to manage the fluctuating magnitude of the discoloration, such as to reduce it or increase it, we would need to know which of these factors contributes the most to the magnitude of this output so we could make the effective adjustment. This is what the uncertainty analysis does. It analyzes the relative contribution of the factors to the variability 
of the discoveration of the collections. It defines the factors that have the most significant impact on the variability of discoloration so that we get an idea of how to change the range of the output if we want. In the context of large collections, the results can be interpreted in relation to proportion of the collections. Through this analysis, we can have an idea of what proportion of the collection will get the desired discoloration and what would be the most effective strategies to manage that. The uncertainty analysis is performed based on sensitive, sensitivity analysis. There are many ways to do sensitivity analysis. The specific method I use for this application is based on Spearman's correlation coefficient ranking obtained by Monte Carlo simulation using Latin hypercube sampling from uniform distributions. I have included the detailed information in the references in the application. This is the interface you will see when you click on uncertainty analysis on Disco. It has the same layout as the lifetime prediction. The difference is that for uncertainty analysis, the output is a bar plot showing the direction of the impact of each factor and the relative impact size of each factor. A bar on the right side means the factor would increase the discoloration and the bar on the left means that the factor would decrease the discoloration. For both directions, the longer the bar, the more impact the factor has on the variation of the discoloration. I hope now you get an overview of DISCO. This is the link to the application. Please do feel free to have a look at your own time. I will demonstrate how the application works with examples at the IPRA workshop. I look forward to meeting and working with you soon. Thank you.